Hello friends, welcome to a brand new series where we will learn about React hooks. So uh, we have completed our React series. So if you have not done that, you should go back because the fun. Uh, it is a prerequisite to, to learn React hooks. You should know means what is React and especially the class based component and all. You should learn that. So I have uh, both blog series and uh, YouTube videos on the same. So you can check it out in this uh, channel only. So, what are hooks? So, hooks are the new feature addition in React 16.8, which allow you to use React features without having to write a class. It means it means you can use now the concept of class, the powerful concept of class, inside the functional component because React is moving to a more more of a functional thing because functional there are quite a bit uh, positive things in using the functional component they are lightweight and they don't have that uh, this keyword also and uh, react want to do away with life life cycle hooks life cycle methods also so in hooks you will see we don't use that much life cycle method we the concept is a bit different and uh, yeah most people like it so uh, as it as it is written we can do the state of the component and hooks don't work inside a class because it's are for functional component so uh, why hooks as i have told why hooks so uh, that this keyword was a mess in class based component and uh, so that is one of the main reason then the other thing is that uh, uh, classes don't don't minify well and make hot reloading unreliable okay so let me do one more thing see we are going to see an example and for that we need to create a react project so i have opened a terminal and npx uh, create react app state hook let me do it because it will take time and in the meanwhile i will tell more about the hooks so as the first reason is that the uh, this keyword was a bit messy as you know might have known from my previous uh, uh, youtube videos also that uh, what happens with this keyword we have to do the bind first then in classes every time we have to dot right this dot props uh, dot something this dot state dot something then in function you have to know wh when to use this and all and the other thing is that classes don't minify well and make make hot reloading unreliable yeah hot reloading it was a bit unreliable with the class based component of late also i have seen that i am refreshing my react project a lot which i should not do see it should hot reload but it is it, it sometimes doesn't hot reload because of the this class based component and every project uh, production project depends on minification <laughs> means the whole of the code is been minified and uh, you might have seen that it has been changed to one line one single line so those things doesn't work well with class based component and uh, if we used to if you want to reuse a stateful concept so we have to use the complicated HOC and render pro HOC means higher order component and uh, we have a complete video on that to video on that you can check out my react series in that 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 complicated HOC is the uh, HOC and render process matter they are very complicated and uh, they are generally used when you want to use the stateful component logic huh. and uh, the last point is when create components for data fetching the code is not organized and have to use different lifecycle method yeah so different lifecycle method means uh, see uh, maybe component did mount we will do the abi call then compo uh, when the state changes or props changes we'll do in component will receive props then uh there is a component will unmount also so all those three is th different different life cycle methods so the as i told earlier it will make it very complicated so the first hook which we are going to see and we are going to see in this video is the use state hook so the 
one of the most cons important concept of any class based component earlier and it plus point over functional component was it was able to use a state but functional component were not able to use a state so use state hooks let you to add a state to functional component and mind it it is only used in functional component you cannot use it in the any logic which i say telling the hooks are for functional component only no class based component so in classes the state is always an object but with use state hook the uh, uh, the state doesn't need to be an object yeah that is also one of the very big uh, it should not be book it should be hook yeah so this is also very big problem with uh, uh class based component you might have seen this this dot state what you do it is an object okay so it doesn't matter in uh, or your functional component the state doesn't need to be object it can be anything okay so and the uh, use state hooks return an array with two element so it returns an array with two element and we will do array destructuring here so first the current value of the state first one is the current value of the state and the second the second is a setter function similar to set state so it will do these two things and we will better understand with an example so let's uh, let me quickly jump into my terminal and see it is done oh it is done so it was fast we talked and it was done so let me go to as it is saying state hooks and going I'm opening it with my vs code and npm start we can do that and yeah react is working i don't want to work. start it here close it open it in chrome in not in chrome in, but in firefox not this so it is opened Yeah, so let me show them side by side. Don't need this. Yeah, so I think the size is okay, but then also I will increase the size a bit. So our app dot js is there in the app dot js. Let me remove everything. So I've removed everything. Let me remove this also, and we will have a. First, we will see a simple counter with class. Then we'll come. We'll convert the same with hook. So for that, in src components, and the file name will be. as counter dot js and uh, r c e the shortcut and i don't want named export i want a normal export and then see so much overhead is there in a class based component then i will do a r const again a shortcut which gives me a cool little constructor and this is a state so this state will be count is 0 and now let me have a button
button the button name will be count and uh, it will be this dot state dot count and here we'll have on click handler any function we can take this dot since we are using so much this this dot in increment count this dot increment count is there let me save it and now we will do this increment count And the best way to do it is through a arrow function so that our this value is bind or else we have to do all those things again <laughs> like that uh, uh, bind uh, this dot increment count equal to this dot increment count dot bind this all those things we have to do so we don't want to do this this is a new way to do in react just get an arrow function a lot of problem of this will be solved and then this dot set state count this dot state dot count plus one let me save it mm, oh yeah everything is right Included the class counter dot input was done. Let me save it and it is done. Initial count is showing and it is working fine. Okay, so this is a simple thing. So now we will change this with the user state and then I will tell what is what is what. So for that. hook counter dot js and because it's a functional component i will use the rfce this is all snippets which are from my vs code extension this one this vs code extension so hook counter and save it And uh, I have to import use state from react and uh, now the main thing is uh, happen how, how we will de uh, define the initial state or so const const the state variable is count and set count see this set count you can do anything but by means by convention you should use the word set like set state we should use the word set now after that see count variable is there so count but yeah camel case is there equal to use state zero so this is exactly equal to this thing which i have done in the constructor this dot state count is zero so we are also see this is array destructuring so when you use the state so this count is there count the initial value will be zero and set count we are uh, set, uh, we are telling react that we have a set state type of a thing see uh, here we can have many different set state Function. So this is a setter type of function which whose name is set count. We are just telling it that. Okay. So after that, the next part 
just like that and go back button hook hook count now we don't have any state variable like this dot state dot count we have just count okay and on click is also a bit interesting on click equal to so see with hooks it is very easy to give a function here means i can create a function like this dot increment one but no, if it's a simple thing why to do that let me create it here only Hello function and set count count plus one i just have to give this set count count plus one and our code is complete so this is the set state you can this look into this this dot set set count is this the state plus count plus one but there in a hook we don't have to give mm, this uh, see count variable then colon then count plus one we don't have to give like this we just have to give what we are updating just like this is state dot count plus one was there so we have to give this count plus one so this this much only we have to do let me save it let me go to the app dot js and counter click enter so that it can auto import so it has auto imported it you save it and hook counter is there this is the old account and this is the hook count and it is working exactly fine so this is the thing with hooks use the state hooks it is so simple to use use the state the initial count and uh, it is not object as in this the state is object this is not object see this is just a number count is equal this means that count is equal to zero so this is how simple hooks are so hope you liked it liked it see you soon in the second part